the slowest man in boxing. <laughs> My man. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? How you doing, man? Good, good. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, Derek, appreciate you taking the time. I, I know you don't get out there a lot, so it's, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having me. All right, so the last couple of weeks we kept talking to Jeff. Um, you know, he, he's back and forth to Florida, and he's not going to Florida. So so explain to us your last fight and, and the whole drama there and, and how that ended up turning out. Well, I had a fight. Yeah, I did have a fight a couple of weeks ago. Um, the fight was originally scheduled for August 25th, um, and I had a, um, a problem with my opponent. Um, he had an injury, um, so it was postponed and pushed back to the 29th. Um, what I'm learning, man, about doing the promotional side of boxing is that stuff happens all the time behind the scenes that people actually don't never see and never hear about. So I'm just getting a taste of that part of boxing. How, how do you like the promotion? It seems like every fighter's getting into that. So that is it a big pain in the ass, or do you enjoy it? Or yeah, I, I like it, but it's a lot of work. You you have to um, build up a team, man, and, and that's what I'm working on, building up a team to take a lot of pressure off me because it's kind of difficult, you know, worrying about uh, who's doing what and then you still got to train and prepare for a fight. So there's it's a lot to it, man. It's, it's not an easy task, you know, but um, I, I think at the end it's, it's worth it. You know, the reward is there, you know, and, and, you know, I was able to go in and get the job done. So, you know, everything worked out for me. So you ended up ultimately, it's, it's kind of strange, but I, I know you had so many problems with the opponent's thing, but ultimately you fought a guy who was making his debut, huh? How how was that? No, they actually, it, it, his record was actually a little bit different than that. It was 18 and 3. Um, it wasn't his debut. You know, most of his fights were, were he's from the Dominican Republic, so most of his fights were over there. And I don't know how. He was 18 and 3. from. So I don't know how that came out. I actually saw that on Box Rack. Um, oh, that's so, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but, but you know, it, it's okay. What were you going to say, Jeff? I said, no, it's okay. I mean, the, the guy, you know, it, it was what it was. I got, I got, I got good five rounds out of the fight. You know, I was able to get the guy out of there, and um, you know, I got, I landed back on my feet. You know, and now I'm, I'm looking forward to fighting um, in December. All right. So, so now you, you came back. You, you've only had a handful of fights in the last few years. Uh, Jeff, right. I actually want to ask you. You know, you, you just started working with them. Um, you know, considering his inactivity and. Uh, you know, fighting later in his career, what do you think, uh, you know, are his strengths at this point and what he still has to offer? Um, I think the one thing that I found out when I first started working with Derek was the fact that, I mean, he still has his speed. I mean, tremendous speed. And, you know, actually now he's a little bigger and he's, and he's sitting down on his punches more, so now he's even a better puncher. And I think that, you know, a lot of times when at, in boxing, you know, sometime later you, you mature. And I think that, you know, and that's the case with him now. I think that he's he's a mature fighter, you know, a smart guy. And, you know, and now he's going to make the most of, you know, of this, this last opportunity. All right. What do you still hope to accomplish, Derek? I mean, like I said, you've only had a handful of fights in the last few years. I mean, do you still have aspirations for pursuing a title and, and think you have that kind of ability? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. You, you know, the, the hunger... Um, had went away a couple of years ago, and I just, you know, pretty much wasn't, my desire, my drive wasn't there, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I'm most definitely motivated. <laughs> you know, I dropped from 190 pounds all the way down to 140, you know, to, wow. to make sure that, yeah, to make sure that I am really prepared to fight. You know, my, my, my focus, my, my mind, my spirit, everything is 100% on boxing. Um, I realized that the clock, is, the, the clock is ticking for me, and I don't have time, you know, to waste. You know, so that's why, you know, I get to fight on the 29th, and, and I'm fighting December 6th here in Pensacola. So I'm not wasting time. You know, um, I'm, I'm staying active, and, and I feel great, man. You know, it's been an a honor and a pleasure to work with Jeff, and, and uh, I'm learning a lot. He's not as fast as me, um, but, you know, he got good hands. You know, and, well, and, and it's really a pleasure, man. I'm, I'm serious. It's really a pleasure, man, to to, to work with him. So, so you said he's not as fast as you. So, so no. how did the gym session go with him? Man, the gym. I, I asked him for a combination. I asked him to give me five hooks. I'm throwing six hooks. You know, he can barely keep up with four. You know what I'm saying? So my yeah. hands is just so much faster than Jeff's. You know, he you know he tries all his little tricks, try to hit me with the miss, but it just don't work. 
you know, I don't know if he thought I was going to slow down because I got a little older, but the hand speed and everything is still there. It's not going to happen. So just, you know, just when you talk to him, let Jeff know that he needs to speed his hands up a little bit. Oh, I forgot he was on the air. My bad. I forgot. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> Jeff, buddy, you already know it gets, you get the doom like everyone else. No one gets away from the doom. Yeah, but nah, man, it's, it's really, it's really good. I think he might be right, Jeff. I think it's slowing down because I, I've seen some other guys, you know, kind of starting to get the better. Yeah, the doom system's not quite as effective as it might have once been. Yeah, I mean, I, I just know he can't keep up with keep up with these hands over here. I don't know about anybody else, but I know these hands that that's over here in Florida. These hands are amazing, you know. Um, so I just, <laughs> you know, my 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 thing is just. Just being mentally prepared, and 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 I know my my speed and my power, all that stuff is there. You know, um, you know. Sometimes you you get away from from doing what you love, and then you 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 get it. Some people don't get the opportunity to go back and, and make it right or do it and come back and do it better. But I thank God that I have the opportunity to come back and do it. I've never been in no real wars. I've never really been banged on and beat on. So I'm still I'm still there. My body's fresh. I feel great. And and it's just you know I know you used to probably cliche the old fighters when they come back they say the same thing but I truly feel really feel great and um, I never really I I don't drink I don't do anything crazy so I feel good it's, it's, this is my time you know and and I'll make the best of it right so you had mentioned before that you know you had kind of lost the the motivation that kind of thing to fight um, you mm -hmm. know you you fought four times since 2005 Tom you lost to, to Chris John um. What specifically, why did you lose the, the drive? And when you decided to come back, you know, this was your first fight in two years, um, when you first started getting in there, were you surprised that you still had the skills? Or, or, or how did that go when you first started, you know, seriously boxing training? What did you think of what you still had left? Well, well, sometimes, man, your environment can, can contaminate you and you don't like what, you, what, you, what you're around and what you, what's going on. So I didn't like my environment. And, and so I, I had to remove myself from my environment and I did that. You know, um, the true story is what really gave me the, the the drive and the motivation to actually fight is when I watched the Ortiz and Mayweather fight. Um, to be very honest with you, I watched that fight, and I knew at that moment that I was coming back. I knew at that moment that um, I was going to be world champ again. I knew at that moment that I was going to dedicate my life back to the sport that I love and that I miss. I knew that I was going to come from, get from 190 back down to 135. You know, I'm at 40 now, I'm going to 35. I knew that I was going to be able to do that. So I, I reached out to Jeff, and he was like, yeah, man, most definitely. So I, I knew at that moment, man, that I was going to be uh, coming back and being motivated to do it. So, you know, it was, it was, it was me sitting around watching – um, running my restaurant, eating wings, getting fat, and watching <laughs> Mayweather. I'm serious, watching the Mayweather Ortiz fight. I knew at that moment that I was coming back out of retirement and, and fighting and going hard at everybody that's at 135. So, uh, is that, you know, watching Ortiz and, and Mayweather fight, is that what made you want to get with, with Jeff? Or, or how did the whole, the whole you know, working, starting to work with him thing come about? No, uh, that that just motivated me to fight. I I I knew I, me and Jeff we've been friends and communicated for years, way way back in the day, before I became champion, before any of that. Um, but I watched Jeff, and I know I know how Jeff is by by our communication and friendship. He's always been laid back, and I watched him with the mitts. I watched him, and I, I know he know the game. So I'm a boxer. His technique is boxing. So I knew that it would be a fit for me. I, at, at the beginning, I was kind of a little, you know, I wasn't, I didn't know. But once I got to Vegas and after my first day working with him, I started looking for an apartment, you know, because I knew I'm, that's where I want to be. You know, I knew that that's where I wanted to, you know, get my career and get everything back going. Last question here for me before I turn over to Elliot is he had a couple questions for you. But, uh, yeah. How many times, you know, so you've known Jeff for a long time, but the texting thing has only been a few years. So how many times during an average session you work with Jeff, you think he texts? He texts? On the phone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. You know what? He, he, now I think about it, you're right. He is on that phone a lot. <laughs> you're yeah. right, man. He, he, I never, I that never even thought about that. Life when it was, oh, my God. That was the hey, best man, day of life when it was texting unlimited. <laughs> oh, oh, hold, on, hold on for a second. Let, let me tell you something. I just, now that you say that, he came down here for my fight <laughs> in August. We were driving. <laughs> And then it dawned on me. I said, wait a minute. He got a text every second. <laughs> I said, yo, man, I, I think I even said to him, you better be glad you got unlimited. Because I've never in my life seen someone get so many text messages, man. You know, we were, we were all there at home earlier, and his phone keeps making this frog or duck sound because he gets text nonstop. Every, <laughs> they every can't even second. Sh- I'm, on the Ultimate Fighter, he's a coach under Roy Nelson, and they can't even film or they can't even show him on camera because all he did was text the entire time. <laughs> that's, that's that's true. You're right. You're absolutely See, right. And you know it's true because he's not even defending himself. He knows it's true. Oh no, I have never in my life, I've never in my life seen anyone get that many text messages at one time. And I think I he, we had a conversation about it. I just it's, it's unbelievable, man. When I first started with him, that's the only thing I ever did. The, the, always the the final question was, how many times does text uh, does Jeff text during a during a, a session with you? Because that, that it, it was, his it was thing. Not, yeah. Now I must say it was, it was a lot, but not as much as when we were driving around town. He might have got he probably got a million texts within twenty twenty two hours. Jeff, do you want to defend Definitely. yourself, or are you just gonna? Take he it? can. He can. He's an honest man. He can. Ooh, it's true because I mean, my phone would my phone would die when we would go places because I got so many texts. Yeah, yeah, it's true. They said that had it been that had it been the best day in your life, Jeff, was when they had uh, the unlimited texting plans. You know. <laughs> yes, oh yes. When they when they charge, you know, back in the day we had the two ways, and then some of them on some plans they they charge you per per two way text yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. Jeff, you would have been towed up. That's all I can say. He's like, the, he's like the big guy going to the buffet, you know, the same thing with Jeff when he ordered the texting plan. They're like, oh, no, not you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> all right, Elliot, uh, sorry about that, Elliot. I know you had a couple questions for Derek. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Derek, how you doing? This is Elliot. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Good. Good, thank you. Yeah, I want to take you back to memory lane a little bit. Um you being from Pensacola, you're great friends with uh, Roy Jones Jr. How, how did you guys uh, meet up as um, when you guys were young? Um, I'm, I actually met him in '84. Um, he was um, he had just won the Olympic Nationals, and um, I, I met him met him then, and um, you know we came up came up as came up as friends, and then as I started fighting, he became a manager, and my promoter. Yeah, and um. You know, a lot of fights that he was main eventing, you was on the undercards, and I noticed that he was always out there watching you fight and making sure that he saw your fight and then went back to the dressing room. Um, what did that mean to you as a friend and in, in, in first and, you know, in a promoter second? It, 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 it felt great. I, I think he, he, he used that um, to help him stay relaxed and to see exactly our styles so similar to each other. He did that to, to help him see what was going on with me and how I was, what moves I made also in the ring. But it, it was a great feeling, man. You know, uh, once I started fighting closer to, you know, his fight, you know, of course he couldn't do it as much. But at the beginning of the, at the beginning of everything, you know, he was able to do that. And it was a great feeling and a great honor, man, to do that. And, and I had a great time, you know, actually fighting and, and being in the gym working out with him. You know, I owe him a lot for, for giving me the opportunity to, to, to do what I do. Yeah, and then how did it feel to finally, you know, have that dart around your waist back in 2000 when you defeated Freddie Norwood? I mean, not only did you become a world champion, but you also took away Norwood's O. How'd that feel? It felt great, man. You know, um, it was an unbelievable night for me. I, I kind of hate the way the fight turned, but um, it, was a, it was a great feeling. You know, I, I enjoyed it. Um, that's that's what that's what you live for as a fighter, you know. Um, I had a lot of uh, uh, some other fights that I missed the opportunity to do that um, to become world champion, but that particular night was a, a magic night for me. Magic night for me. I was able to beat no one who was an undefeated fighter. Um, who was he was very tough. I, I'm to be honest with you, he didn't have to fight dirty. He was automatically tough and strong. Um, but 
it was a great night for me, man. I, I miss it. That's what. That's why I'm doing what I I do. That's why I'm training. That's why you know I'm taking trips to Vegas to to work with Jeff, so I can get back to that point. Because I I miss it. To be very honest with you. And and how cool was it to be featured in a video game, in Knockout Kings? I played with I played your character a few times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they contacted me and um and 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 asked me um to do it. And of course, you know that's something that you know you 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 can't turn that down. You know, have an opportunity to be on a video game, and it's 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 unreal. Um, uh, I can't play the game. I, I I actually matched myself up against Kevin Kelly, and um, what happened to me in the first fight is what happened to me on the game. So I kind of tore the game up, you know. But um, you know, I, I enjoy the game. I I actually um uh went out and bought. Both both games to to frame them, have them put up, you know, for my kids, so they'll have it later on down the line. But it was a great honor, man. So yeah, yeah. Just, I'll get back to you in a second. But does that which one kind of tells you you made it more, being featured in a video game or, or the world title? <laughs> the world title, man. You can't. <laughs> the world title, man. I mean, it's it's nothing. It's nothing like that. I mean, nothing like that. Well, yeah. you know, just just the fact that. You know, you go places and people refer to you as as world champion. You know, it's unbelievable. You know, it's a great feeling, and and I, I'm I'm being honest, man. I I miss that. You know, and and I'm working my butt off to to get back to that point. And it, it's not gonna be easy, um, but I'm I'm most definitely here to do it. Right. Um, going back for just a moment, I want to ask you. You know, obviously, you know, we, we talked about Roy Jones there for a moment. But what are your mm -hmm. thoughts as, as far as him now, and you know, in his career? You know, he's, he's still determined to go forward. Um, what are your thoughts of, of what he's doing now? And and you know, I mean, obviously you support him, but do, do you agree with what he's doing? Do you wish he'd hang it up, or, or do you think he still got it in him somewhere? Well, I I, I will just I just pray that he's, he's he's healthy and that you know he's okay. Um, but if, if, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult to tell someone to not, not go to work, you know, that's, that's the way he's going to make his money. Um, but I, I realize that we are in a competitive sport and that, um, the fans basically pay us. Um, I, I would, if he would continue to fight, I would just hope that he would get in, in great shape and, and, and be the, be, be, be in shape and be prepared to fight. Um, for 12 rounds, um, or 20 rounds, I should say. Um, if he if he does that, then I think he'd be fine. But if he's not mentally um, um, prepared and physically prepared, then I don't think he should fight. But if he's getting himself in shape and he's just losing, you know, um, I think that's yeah, – I look at it a little bit different. But once you started to get, you know, KO like he has been in the last few years, I think he should really look at look at what's going on. Honestly, and, and I said, this is Jeff, and, and I know Jeff can hear this. I said to him, I said, man, um, we're cool enough that if I'm not cutting it, tell me I need to sit my, my butt down. I didn't say butt, but tell me I need to sit down. Um, I know he remembered the conversation because, you know, at the end of the day, I have a little baby here. I got two little kids here, two more little kids here. At the end of the day, I want, when I come home, I want them to be able to look at me and I'll be able to talk to them and everything be okay. I want to be able to have the same right. conversation with you and them, you know, 10 years from now, and I sound okay and I'm okay. Boxing is a brutal sport. And right. and boxing is 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 what I do. It's, it's, not, it's not who I am. I, I will not stay in this game and embarrass myself ever again or not be in shape, going to a fight, you know, not prepared. It's not going to happen with me. I can only speak for myself. I'm not suggesting that Roy is doing that, but what I am saying is that at the end of the day, I want to be clear on where I'm going. I'm putting my shoes on right. I want to make sure that I'm okay. So if I'm getting flattened and knocked out and beat and banged on, I told Jeff and I told my other people here, tell me to sit down somewhere. Don't even train me. Well, you, know, I, you know, stay away. Well, I know, I know Jeff, and I know, I know he will do that. You know, I won't mention anything, but I know he's told fighters that in the past, and, and I told him I wanted to fight once, and, and he told me real quickly to sit down, so I know he's not afraid yeah. to do it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but the one thing about Jeff, you know, Jeff, he, you, you do have experience in, uh, I guess, now a former world champion, but, you know, having guys that are, are – you know, on the back end of 30 or, or 40 years old with Celestino Caballero, obviously. So, 
So, you know, working forward with Derek, Derek here, uh, you know, what are the differences and what are the things with him that, that you want to work on as, as opposed to, you know, maybe an up-and-coming fighter? Are you asking me? Yes, you. You don't oh, want to okay. end up like Jeff, Derek. That's the thing. <laughs> don't end up like Jeff. <laughs> no. I mean, the, the, the one thing is, is, is that basically, you know, if, just like Derek said, you know, I mean, he did. We sit down and we talk, and um, and that's one thing that he said. He said, um, you know, um, just keep it real with me. You know, don't let me go out there and, and make a fool of myself. You know, and um, and of course, I'm one of those I'm one of those trainers that I've I've already told fighters before that it's time it's time for you to hang them up. And they were, you know, and they were guys that you know who actually were a lot younger than Derek and plus, you know, they were guys that, you know, basically they had a name but really couldn't cut it no more. And basically I don't have a problem with, with telling the fighter that, you know, it's over with. You know, it's over with. I mean, I can't tell you to quit, but I can tell you that I'm no longer going to be a part of it. You know, and and most fighters that, you know, I, I have a tendency to work with, I become you know, I become friends with them because actually I want to know, you know, what makes that fighter tick. I want to know what's going on inside that fighter's head, you know, and then sometimes what's going on at home because a lot of times you got you to gotta actually become a friend to a fighter to actually get an old fighter, you know, and, and like Derek said, I mean, he has, a, he has a family to take care of, you know, and, um, and so and, and boxing, you know, boxing, boxing can be a brutal sport. You know, but I mean, he's already been, he's been to the mountaintop, so he know what it takes to get there again. And hopefully that's what, you know, that's what our goal is. Our goal is to, you know, at least win, win a world title and, um, you know, then hopefully go out on top. So let me ask you this, Derek, then, you know, you've been out of the spotlight for a while. Um, how far away do you think you are, you know, if you have the, the best success in each fight, how far do you think you're away from getting a shot like that? And, and give us your, you know, your plan as far as how long you think you, you want to keep fighting and, and, you know, each step along the way, what you think you're going to do? Well, what, I, what I've done, decent mistakes, I'm going to fight for one of the vacant um, WBC um, Intercontinental titles. Then I'm going to fight again um, January 31st, and, and I'm going to defend that title. Um, I know I'm going to win. I'm going to defend that title. And then I, I think... Um, in 2013, it's going to be a very key year for me um, as far as I'm going to eventually either fight um, for a, a, a spot at, to fight, the right to fight for the title or fight for the title. I don't think my, my step in my process is going to be a little bit faster than a regular a guy who's just coming up. I'm a former champion, so it won't take me as long. It won't take me as long. I just need to get some fights in. Um, Pretty much, I've talked to every organization um, recently, and basically they just wanted me to get a win, get a fight in, because I sat out for two years, and I did that already. So this next fight, like I said, is for one of the vacant WBC and the Continental titles, and that will put me in the rankings right there, and then I'm going to defend it. That's going to move me up a little bit faster. And they have a guy who's who has a WBC title. I want to say it's a silver title, WBC silver title. Um, I'm going to try to petition them for me to fight him. Um, I don't know him, and I really don't don't care. I just know I feel great, and I want to fight anybody out there. I don't have time to waste. So whatever step I have to take, if I have to fight every day, once a month, I'm going to fight once a month. I'm going to make some noise, and <laughs> I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to stay in shape. See, I can't. I realize at this stage here, every move is, has to be very precise. I have to do stay in shape, stay ready. I can't let my body just go out of, you know, go out of shape. I can't do that anymore. I have to, every time you see me now, I'm going to be in shape. I can't, I can't, I can't take no chances. You know what I'm saying? So I know what I'm facing. My maturity level is so much better. I understand the game. I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. You know, and the thing that I wanted to do more than anything, and I did it the other night, was just let my hands go. You know, be aggressive. And, and throw more punches, and in doing so, I think everything will open up for me. All right. So, give us your, uh, you know, the ultimate finish to your career. How, how does it end for you? Uh, your 
my my thing is to go out as world champion. I you know I'm I'm going to fight at 35. I'm going to win the title at 35. I'm going to win want to win the title at 40, and then you know um, go out on top. You know retire, go in the sunset as go out as world champion. You know that's that's my plan. That's what I want to do. So so you don't you want know, to just win and retire. You want to win it and, and win another one as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm I'm not just I'm not coming back for one title. You kidding me? Who does that? I just told you I came from 190 pounds, man. In April when I came to Vegas, I was 190 pounds. You understand what I'm saying? This April I was 190 pounds, man. So for me to drop all that weight, you think I'm dropping all this weight to fight for the title at one time? Come on, man. I, I'm not I'm not in it for that, man. This, this is this is so for real. I, I trust me. I don't like to fly. I'm not flying way out of the train with Jeff, man, just to win the title one time. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, Jeff, man, I, I, I got to do it. Right. Now, Jeff, unfortunately, you didn't get the corner in the last fight because you went the first time and there was a hurricane or whatever, and then the second yeah. time there was problems with the opponent. So, so Jeff, tell us about that. I mean, how unfortunate uh, was it that you were able to able to be in the corner, and do you think that at all hinders you, you going forward with him in his next fight? No. I mean, because, I mean, I understand the situation. I mean, there's no lack of communication between me and Derek, and, you know, I was already informed on what happened, so it wasn't a big deal. And and plus, I know that, you know, I mean, the opposition that was put in front of him, you know, the last time, I mean, he didn't necessarily need me, you know, to be there. But, of course, I mean, when we start stepping up in class, I mean, of course, he's going to need, you know, to work with me and, you know, and, and basically, you know, and that's, and that's the case, you know, it's just not, you know, like, and it was unfortunate, just an unfortunate situation that, that happened, you know, I mean, so, I mean, like I said, I mean, he was able to keep the ball rolling and, you know, and keep his career alive and, and we're going to keep on, and we're going to keep on doing what we got to do until we get to where we need to be. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We in church right now. That's right. That's what we gonna do, baby. Yeah. Hey, Elliot, what you got? Some other stuff? Yeah. Um. Hey, Derek. How, how many more years do you want to keep uh, fighting? Uh. It, it just depends, you know. Um. Three to five. Three to five years. You know, three to five years. Five. Five will be on on the high, but. Three years again. My 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 process and, and what I have to do and is getting to that next level. It's not going to take me as long as it would take a, a, a just a regular contender. You know, um, most of the time when you're a former champion, you can petition. And some of these people, you know, if my last name was Crisco, I'll be champion. I'll come out of retirement as champion. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it, you know, <laughs> I I need to take a couple fights before I get to that point. But I, I think I'll be all right. And I, I think within I know within 2013 I'll, I'll be champion, and then I defend the title, defend the title, and then within three to five years, um, me and Jeff we're gonna chill out. I'm gonna chill out. I'm just gonna go and visit Jeff. You know, no more fighting. We gonna smoke some weed. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, I ain't gonna never do that. I can't do that, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jeff just started doing that the other day, and he won't stop it. He's been stoned for three days straight now. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Man, you ain't gonna stop it, man. Oh, that's crazy. No, nah, I ain't gonna be able to do that, man. That's, not, that's okay. If I did that, I wouldn't make 140, man. I could, I could make my weight, man. You'll well, be snacking too oh, much, right? It, it, yeah, I'm sure, man. I'm sure. <laughs> That's crazy. It, it ain't the weed. It ain't the weed. It's the weed. <laughs> the weed. Oh, my goodness. I, I ain't going to eat some weeds. After that, we eat a lot yeah, of weeds. I don't weed. know if you know it, Derek, but, but uh, Jeff turned into a big pothead since the last time you are here, so you need to be careful. Oh, no. No, not Jeff. <laughs> not Jeff. <laughs> No, I, 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 I'm not buying that one. You, you just heard that. You just heard the bags are up one in the background, right? That was a Dorito. See, he just. Oh my he's goodness! Been snacking. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And, uh, I, and Derek, um, you know, 2013, you want to fight for a war title? 
Uh, yes. Can you throw some names out there of, of, of you know, a few boxers that you would like to uh, step in the ring with? Man, I, I fight anybody. You, you look at my record, I've never turned down a fight. I don't. I turn down my collar. That's it. I don't, I don't turn down fights, man. I fight whoever has the title, whoever has the title, I will fight them. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of good fights out there. There's a, there's a very interesting fight that's going to take place in November. Broner and De, DeMarcus, I think his name is. That's a, that's a very interesting fight. Then you, then you have um, the guy with the WBA. He's fighting, um, I want to say, um, the guy, uh, Sharif, I think his name is. I think he's fighting yeah, for a title. Yeah. Out of making title. So it's a man. There, oh, yeah. there are a lot of there are a lot of interesting fights that were out there. One thirty five and one forty. So I, I don't I don't mind. I fight anybody, man. Fighters, we fight anybody. Yeah. We don't turn down fights, man. We don't we don't we don't we don't believe in that. But you need to you need to get with him on on Celestino. You know your your uh, once a one once a month fight pattern there would be something we can get Celestino doing. He's getting, having all kinds of trouble getting fights there for himself. So you know, yeah. unfortunately, he's you know. In kind of the same situation, you know, he's, he's getting up there, but he just can't get a can't get a fight. So he's been inactive for quite a while. So trust me, as as featherweight champ, I, I can I can re, I can relate. I had one guy that mentioned my name as featherweight champion, so I can understand that, you know. But what he might want to do is what what I I don't mind doing right right now to just get going, just take fights, just fight because you know the, the thing about it for me, um, being inactive and not. Fighting it, it hurts you more than than anything, you know. Especially, it, I'm able to be sharp, you know, by taking fights. So, you know, going back to training and, and you know, right back for this fight in December, I, I mean, it felt like I just, you know, I, I feel great. You know, I, I, I don't, you know, I wasn't hurt or sore or anything like that. I just feel great, man. So, uh -huh. I think I perform better once I'm, as long as I'm staying active. Uh, I know it's a little late out there in Florida, so before we let you go, though, one more thing. You know, Jeff's a great storyteller. Unfortunately, he never tells the stories on the on the radio here. So, do you got any good story or or anything you know interesting that happened between you guys in the past you want to share with us? Man, no, man. Uh, no, the only thing that was crazy was his phone going off like that. That was <laughs> that was it, man. His his phone, you know, all the text messages. His phone went. You know, went 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 dead from all the text messages, and and oh, and he sweet real, he snores real loud when he's driving in the car. <laughs> he went to sleep on me, and he snored real loud. That that was it, pretty much. Well, now we know the texts are probably all from his dealers, apparently, and the uh, and the and the ladies. <laughs> you right about that. Give me the key, baby. Give me the four to the key. You right about that. All right, Jeff. Jeff, what about you? Any anything you know fun, interesting as far as working with with Derek? Well, I mean, I mean, me and Derek is competitive, you know, in in our even in our training. We're competitive, of course. You know, my job is to try to tighten up the defense any way I can, and of course, you know how I do that. And basically, you know, his <laughs> challenges and his challenges also is to you know to to make me miss. And you know, and also, you know, the, um, so I mean, it's just a, it's just an ongoing challenge all the time, you know. And I, but I mean, it's, it's fun and it's spirited. Yeah, no doubt. No all doubt. Right, well, yeah, I really appreciate you taking time with us, Derek. Uh, you know, it sounds like you got everything mapped out, and uh, you know, it, it, it's commendable because, like I said, you've been pretty inactive for the last few years. So to come back at forty years old, you know, and 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 looking to make your mark again, that's uh, really impressive and. You know, working with Jeff, if anybody can, can help you do it, it's him. Uh, tell the folks, you know, where they can keep up with you. you got Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing. I do. I'm on I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter also. Um, it's, it's your, my name, Twitter. Derek Smoke. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, your Twitter, though, you got that, that block on it, so you got to get approved by it, right? I don't know how to take that off. I wish you could tell me how to take that off. <laughs> well, you can't do Oh, I know... One of our uh, people, Elaine, that works with us, she had the same problem. If you use it on your phone, you can't do it there. Apparently, it's got to be on your on your desktop I'm, computer. On my desktop. That. I, I have yeah, my laptop. You, so just log in on my laptop and try it? Yeah, yeah. log in your laptop and go to the settings and then, yeah, knock it off a of private there. Because I tried to add you yesterday and it said I had to get approval approval there from you. Yeah, so, that, that, yeah. Yes. I had a lot of people that um, 
that emailed me and told me the same thing. So I need to do that. Because I tried doing it on my phone. You're right. It wouldn't let me do it. So I'm, on, on Twitter, I'm Smoke Gainer. Um, on Twitter, I'm going to take the block off. And then on my um, Facebook, is just Derek Smoke Gainer. All right. And then anything else you want to, you know, tell people who are following you, a message for anybody? No, I mean, just um, everybody tune in. I'll be fighting December 6th. Um, I guess a undefeated fighter from um, Houston. Um, the fight will be a Ustream fight, uh, Ustream um, forward slash fight camp TV. Um, and um, I'm coming back, baby. That's it. You know, I appreciate the support of all my fans. Thank you guys for having me. Jeff, i see you soon. Um, I'm going right. to tell, tell, you, tell your ribs up when I see you, man. <laughs> just, just don't be near him any time you're going to be testing for anything. You don't want any of the fumes to get to you. Oh, man, no, my man, I ain't worried about that. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Thanks, y'all, man. Right. Hey, Ellie, do you have anything for Derek before he goes? Uh, Derek, um, you know, I wish yeah. you the best on you know your next fight. We'll be watching, yeah. and, um, you know, hopefully we can get you back on the show. And Thanks a lot. All right, man, thanks for having me, man. I'll most definitely come back. Yeah, we'll get you back after your next... Uh your next victory there in December, and yeah, thanks again. I really appreciate having you on, and 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 best of luck to you. You know, it's uh, it's it's great to see you back in there. I know you have a lot of fans that have missed you over the last several years, so so best of luck to you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. All right, Jeff. You know, I'm, right. I'm gonna let you send him out again. So I'll let you do with Larry Holmes. You can send out Derek there. You ready? I'm ready. ready? Go ahead. Oh. Why? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's all he gets. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes. Why is that? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my stomach hurts. <laughs> You see what I have to work with here, Derek? It's just terrible. Oh, man, that's horrible, man. Man, later, man. Yeah, you you, you can tell someone, else. this is one of your guys. You're just going to say bye. You're not going to. That's my signature. Man, later, man. I thought y'all later, okay. man. Later. All right. <laughs> All right, Appreciate it, Derek. Take care. All right, so that was uh, Derek Gaynor, former and uh, hopefully future champion. Uh, great of him to, to join us. And earlier, obviously, we had uh, the legendary Larry Holmes. Thanks so much to him. Uh, he had the days confused. He actually thought he was coming on yesterday, so so he even took his time off from the, watching the debate. So we really appreciate having him on. Uh, Elliot, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell the folks where they can follow you and what you got going on. Yeah, I've... Uh and who wants to follow me, keep up with some boxing news for a pro boxing insider, follow me at uh, Vicious Vasquez. And on, on Facebook is just my name, Ali Vasquez Torres. And if anybody wants to check out my blog and comment, I always uh, return all my comments. It's uh, simply the boxing post dot web, uh, excuse me, boxing post dot wordpress dot com. And thank you. I appreciate having you. And then, uh, you know, I'll do the honors for you, Jeff, since you'll just say bye. Uh, you can follow Jeff on Twitter at Jeff Mayweather One, and uh, you know follow us both on uh, on our Facebook page. It's Jeff Mayweather's Pro Boxing Insider, so follow us there. Uh, Jeff, you know just last thoughts on the night, and Derek or Larry, anything you want to add? Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it, uh, every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock Central will be on. Thanks to ATG Radio. Just uh, moved over there. Last week was our first week. So thanks so much for, uh, to them for, for allow, allowing us to be on their network. And uh, we will see everybody next week. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. One more time, Jeff. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>